This is the Magic the Gathering Iceberg Explained. For Thank you to you slash hnapper on Reddit since they are the creator of this image. First trading card game. Richard Garfield invented and popularized the idea of trading card games with magic. Reserved list. The reserved list is a list of 571 cards which will never be physically reprinted in a functionally identical form. Meaning that if the card types, subtypes, abilities, mana cost, power, and toughness are the same, it can't be printed. And no cards will be added or removed from the reserved list. The ramifications of breaking the reserved list are unclear, and I'll link an article about it. But there are some grounds for a loss, even if it's unclear which way it would go. Storm scale. The storm scale is a rating out of 11 of the likelihood that a given keyword would be reprinted in a standard legal set. A 1 is very likely, whereas an 11 will never be reprinted. It is created and used by Mike Rosewater. Magic player rewards. These cards were specifically printed to give as rewards to players who played in many sanctioned DCI events. The program was discontinued in November of 2010. Secondary market doesn't exist. There's a common misconception that Wizards doesn't acknowledge the secondary market, and I believed it too before I researched this point. The reality is that Wizards does acknowledge the secondary market, but they choose to be careful about how and when they talk about it. Wizards hasn't fully explained the reasons why they tread carefully, but there are many theories from downplaying the price of their game as a marketing tool to gambling laws. But these don't really add up. And really, we need to know from Watsi. Let me set one thing straight though. Gambling laws don't care about whether Watsi acknowledges the secondary market or not. It just matters whether it's gambling or not. Standard is best format. HNapper put one of these in each level. And I'm not really sure what it means. My two main theories are that HNapper listed their favorite formats in order, or that they ordered the formats in needed game knowledge. They also put modern in layer two, legacy in layer three. 3, Draft in Layer 4, Commander in Layer 5, and Cube in Layer 6. I will skip these for future segments since they're just too repetitive. Green Serendibifree. The revised edition of Serendibifree has a green colored frame. They managed to misprint all the Serendibifreets for that set. Timmy, Johnny, Spike. These are different types of players depending on what they enjoy about the game. Timmy's enjoy big spells and creatures. Johnny's enjoy interactions between cards and combat. Spikes enjoy powerful decks and trying to win. Yogmoth Inquest. Inquest was a collectible card game magazine, and there was a page about Yogmoth. Magic aids stolen deck. I recently uploaded a video on a new human deck I came up with, and I couldn't help but notice that less than one week later, this guy wins a major modern tournament with a deck suspiciously similar to mine. Let's compare my human deck list with the other guy's human deck list. And what do you know? Every non-land main deck card is identical. <laughs> oh wait, my mistake, they're not identical. He swapped one freebooter with the mayor of a crack. How silly of me to think that he based his deck off of mine. Even though we both run 20 nearly identical lands, the biggest difference between our two decks is that I run reflecting pools and he does not. However, and this is a big however, I'm actually glad he copied the deck. People weren't really that interested in the human deck. And then this guy Collins takes a huge gamble by giving this deck a shot, and by winning the tournament, he was ultimately able to earn the deck the attention that it deserved. Eldrazi Jumpstart. Eldrazi was initially announced on Dream to be a jumpstart theme, but was never released. Unholy Strength. Early versions of the art of Unholy Strength had a pentagram in the background, but it was later removed due to criticism from Christian groups and parents. Bolt the Bird. Bolt the Bird is a heuristic which claims that if an opponent plays a Birds of Paradise in the early game and you have an opportunity to lightning bolt it, you should do so. This extends to other burn and mana dorks too. And crack Bandit. When it rains, it pours. The Ass Crack Bandit was an undiscovered character from Community who would drop quarters down exposed butts. This relates to magic because there was someone at GP Richmond who took pictures with people who left their pants down. Future card. There are cards from Future Sight with the future shifted frame. 
Mirrodin Pure. In the Scars of Mirrodin block, they didn't want to reveal whether the Mirrodins or Phyrexians would win. So they released two names for the set. Mirrodin if the Phyrexians won, and Mirrodin Pure if the Mirrodins won. Uktabi Orangutan. Merit Lage is Eldrazi. Merit Lage shares many characteristics with Eldrazi, even if it isn't one. Ripping Chaos Orb. Chaos Orb is a card banned in all formats with this tag. One tag. If Chaos Orb is on the battlefield, flip Chaos Orb onto the battlefield from a height of at least one foot. If Chaos Orb turns over completely at least once during the flip, destroy all non-token permanents it touches. Then destroy Chaos Orb. Chaos Confetti, which is also banned in all format is four for an artifact. Four tap. Pair Chaos Confetti into pieces. Throw the pieces onto the battlefield from a distance of at least five feet. Destroy each permanent that a piece touches. Remove the pieces from the game. Eternal Masters Puzzle. On the back of the tokens in Eternal Masters, there was seemingly random writing. But when you put it all together, you can read two proclamations. One from Queen Marchesa and one from Adriana. We'll show it on screen and leave a link in the description in case you want to read either one. The biggest deck. Magic has printed oversized cards as promotional cards. You can technically have legal decks entirely made out of oversized in modern, legacy, and vintage. If you run it in modern, you'll have to go without lands though. But in legacy and vintage, you can get your mana from running dual lands, city of traders, Gaia's Cradle, and Wasteland. Glistening Oil on Ixalan. Fountain of Ichor is located within Ixalan, and there's an argument to be made that it holds glistening oil. Ashiok equals Jin. Look at Ashiok's art, then look at Inyaz's art, who is a Jin. The similarity is uncanny, so people think Ashiok may be a Jin. Rare Planeswalkers. In general, uncommon Planeswalkers have one loyalty ability, rare Planeswalkers have two loyalty abilities, and mythic Planeswalkers have three loyalty abilities. Although there are many, many exceptions to this. Chinese Censorship. Many magic cards that depict skeletons have alternative arts in China. While showing skeletons isn't strictly forbidden, many places view it as a bad omen. Mercadia equals Ixalan. There's a theory that Mercadia and Ixalan are the same place. Mercadia fell and was overgrown by a jungle, and that's why you can find so many artifacts from the past around Ixalan. There isn't really any proof for this, and the fact that Ixalan is its own plane makes it highly implausible. U3. In old expansions, some commons and uncommons showed up at different rates, and uncommon 3 was the one that showed up the most. Kozilek Ulamog not dead. When the Gate Watch fought against Kozilek and Ulamog, they didn't kill them. They just ended the material manifestation of the Eldrazi. Misprints equals money. Misprints are often worth a lot of money. Magic Invitational Card. The Magic Invitational tournaments had a prize that the winner got to design a card which would be printed later after R&D made sure it was viable. And the art would depict the winner. Phyrexian language. The Phyrexian language is a written and spoken language constructed for the Scars of Mirrodin block. Urza's old card. Most likely this is referring to Urza. Urza's Vanguard card. Vanguard uses oversized cards that are selected before the game. This changes your maximum hand size and life total, and the text on the card may affect the game. Arabian Nights Mountain. There's an extremely limited supply of these, roughly 30,000, and they're worth $300 each. It's odd that they chose this over the $650 dollar Guru Island though, this is actually the seventh most expensive base. M10 rule change didn't happen. Someone came up with a weird conspiracy theory and summed it up in this post. The premise is that Kozilek and Ulamog caused the M10 rule changes, and since they died, they should be revoked. But the reason that they haven't is because the damage has already been done and is on the stack. It honestly doesn't make a lot of sense to me and is hard to follow. Mana burn. Before the M10 rule Rules change, there used to be a rule that if mana was removed from a player's mana pool through ending turns and phases, that player would lose that much life. You can see the same effect on your law. It was designed with limited in mind. It's easy to look at a weak card and wonder why it needed to exist or why it wasn't more powerful. I'm not going to use this random common in my deck, so why is it there? So I'm here to tell you the reason. Limited. You open a pack, take a card, then pass the pack to the next player in a group of 
eight, and repeat until you've drafted all the packs. So how are weak cards needed? Well, think of a guilt gate and an OG duel. If there's an OG duel in the draft, then almost every deck with those colors is going to want it and draft it pretty early. This means that if a deck cares specifically about OG duels and needs a lot of them, it won't get them. Now let's replace these with guild gates. Now the person who specifically needs guild gates is going to keep drafting them and the other players won't care about them or draft them later. And the guild gate player will get more. As you increase the power level of cards, you increase the amount of people who want it. And when you want someone who's playing a specific archetype to pick it up, then having low power cards is important. Roseanne Writer. Mark Rosewater used to be a writer for the show Roseanne. Wanderer equals Emrakul. There is a theory that Emrakul is the Wanderer. From the vault, Dryad Arbor. This is just a printing of Dryad Arbor without the reminder tag. Rancord underscore elf. Rancord underscore elf leaks three playtest cards from Time Spiral by posting them in a forum. And Watsi decided to sue them for it. I will link an article about it below, but it was settled outside of court. All crazy teens have tried magic pills. It's an outdated mnemonic device to help remember the steps in casting a spell. This is what each word is. All. And now. Crazy. Choices. Teens. Target. Have. How to divide. Try. Total cost determination. Magic. Mana ability. Pills. Pay. But this is outdated. With the addition of 601.2e, game check is if the proposed spell is legal to cast after you choose how things are divided. Spectral Chaos. Spectral Chaos was a magic expansion set developed for WotC by Barry Wright. It was never released, although parts of it were used for future sets. Ice Age Trail. According to the fan content policy, I can't show you the trail, but I will link it below and I highly recommend you watch it. Silver can time travel. Karn is a time traveling silver golem. Silver was chosen for the metal because Urza's experiments revealed that silver was the only metal that could go through temporal engines unharmed. Healing solve equals ancestral recall. Healing solve and ancestral recall were a part of a cycle of one minute instant. One in each color that did three of something. Bop was an island. When designing Alpha, the art for a land was submitted with a giant bird in the front. And Mark Rosewater decided that he didn't want to use that art. Rather than leave the art unused, Mark Rosewater designed Birds of Paradise to be used with the art. Dinosaur Errata. When Ixalan reintroduced dinosaurs to magic, 14 older cards which were dinosaurs in art or effect were changed to have dino as their type. Zoetic Cavern and Blood. If Zoetic Cavern is morphed, it won't be turned into a mountain. But if the land side is face up, then it will become a mountain. Summer Magic. Revised Edition had many issues. From washed out colors, Serendipifree having the wrong color, and growing concerns of satanic in imagery. So WotC created a fixed version of the set called Edgar. Even though it was intended to be a fix of these issues, it also had many issues, such as two dark colors. Because of these issues, the entire print one was recalled and destroyed. This led to the great revised edition shortage of 1994, Desert Mirage. There is a misprint of Desert from Arabian Night. You can see the two arts compared. Alpha Volcanic Island. All the dual lands except for Volcanic Island were printed in Alpha. Legends equals kill spell. Before Core Set 2014, the Legend rule checked all players' fields for copies of Legendary Permanent. And if someone had a Legend enter with the same name as another, they could kill the other Legend. Nowadays, though, it will check each player's field individually so you and your opponent can have a copy of the same legendary. Hyalopterous Lemur. Hyalopterous Lemur is four and a black for creature spirit. Zero. Hyalopterous Lemur gets negative one, negative oh, and gains flying until end of turn. Four, three. Urza flavor tag. The Vanguard version of Urza has this flavor tag. An artificer of unparalleled renown. Urza was a powerful cipher even before he was able to planeswalk. Seeing the world as a large integrated machine is his greatest strength and weakness, enabling him to solve almost any problem, but blinding him to his solutions effects on others. Seventh edition's new art pledge. All cards in seventh edition had new art. Black, green, Sarah Angel. There is a mystery booster playtest card called Golgari Death Swan. Three black green for 4-4 four, four flying vigilant. This is the same as Sarah Angel, but in Golgari. Two Narsets. Narset looks different in some of her arts. Borborygmos. Borborygmos is a cyclops from Ravnica and is unofficially the guild leader. He has two cards, Borborygmos and Borborygmos in 
rage. Faraz's band reprinted. Faraz's band was accidentally reprinted, even though it was on the reserve list. This caused a revision to the reserve list, where it and some other cards were removed. Urza equals Raven Man. The Raven Man is an unknown character who haunts Liliana. There is a theory that Urza is the Raven Man, but Urza is dead, so it's extremely unlikely. Yagmoth equals Raven Man. Same thing, Yagmoth is also dead. Goyfgate. Pascal Maynard chose to draft a foiled Tarmogoyf over a Burst Lightning, which would have been good in his deck, likely throwing away a World Championship invitation for a foiled Tarmogoyf. Ignite Memories. There is a legendary match between Gabriel Nassif and Patrick Chaplin. Patrick casts an Ignite Memories and five Storm copies are created. Gabriel is at 11 life. Patrick then proceeds to flip Grape Shot five times in a row, which puts him at one life. Patrick passes the turn and Gabriel wins the game. This is a one in 243 chance. Lightning Bolt caused Rule 102A. Rule 100.2A outlines minimum deck sizes and the four card limit. The reason for for this is because early in Magic, there were decks with 40 Lightning Bolts and 20 Mountains. Unseen. Unglued 2, also known as Unseen, was a plan for a new unset which got cancelled. You can see some of the art and text in the link in the description. Squeeze Toy equals Phylactery. There's a theory that Squeeze Toy is what gives Squee immortality. Commander was invented by sleeve manufacturers. Commander uses 100 cards, sleeves are sold in 100 packs, and so a conspiracy is born. City in a Bottle Mountain. City in a Bottle was errata. That means that the text was changed after release to affect cards originally printed in Arabian Nights, rather than cards from Arabian Nights. This means you can play any mountain, even this one from Arabian Nights. Abomination. Do not research. I can't research this and don't know off the top of my head, so it must stay unknown. Damage on the stat. For the M10 rules change, combat damage used the stat. Now there is no chance to respond to damage, although you can respond to blocks or at the end of combat. Gem of Becoming equals future. There's a theory that Gem of Becoming is what will allow Nicol Bolas to become a godly planeswalker at some point in the future. The reason is because the orb often depicted between Nicol's horn is what differentiates the planeswalker and non-planeswalker versions of it. The art of Gem of Becoming shows a statue of Nicol Bolas' horn and the orb between it. Mountain equals most printed card 250421. This isn't true now and it wasn't true in April. Forest is the most printed card with 631 prints as of April and 638 prints now. Mountain had 596 prints as of the 25th of April and 604 prints now. Top deck of the century. Craig Johnson is at three life and will die to attacks next turn. His opponent, Olivier Ruel, is at six life. On end step, Craig casts Char, targeting Olivier, which sets Craig at one life and Olivier area too late. He gambles the game on top decking another burn spell and this happens. Goyf spoiled Planeswalkers. Tarmogoyf was revealed before Planeswalkers were announced, and before people knew what they were. Because of the reminder text on Tarmogoyf, people knew that Planeswalkers would become a thing. Throat Wolf. Throat Wolf is a mystery booster playtest card. It's one red red or three one summon wolf that reads, you may cast Throat Wolf during an opponent's combat phase. First Disc Strike. This creature deals combat damage to creatures before creatures with first strike. After each opponent's first combat phase of each turn, there's an additional combat phase. Only Throat Wolf can attack during that combat phase. Little Girl plus Infect equals how many counters? According to this post by Mark Rosewater, you make half a counter. 104 point 3F is not possible. 104.3F reads as follows. If a player would both win and lose the game simultaneously, that player loses the game. You can't win simultaneously to lose it. Crystalline Mox. Five Color was an unofficial magic format, which used to be quite popular. The Five Color Rules Committee organized tournament, and as a reward for the winner of GP Milwaukee, Pat Felhing was given a card called Crystalline Mox. There is only one Exile Zone. Many people assume that 
there are separate exile zones for face up and face down cards, or that each affects the exile's cards puts them into different exile zones. But really, there's only one. Cut Zabo art. Mark Zug created this art for Zabo Tavok, but Watsi opted to use Michael Sutfin's arts instead. Phyrexian Arena depicts Yogmoth. Yogmoth had no art on a card for a while, and this led to his depictions being inconsistent and unclear. You can see one of these depictions in this art. Although nowadays, there's Yogmoth's Vile Offering and Yogmoth Grand Physician that depict it. Karn has a fake Silex. In the Dominarian storyline, Karn finds a Silex in Yavamaya. There was a theory that this wasn't the same Silex due to incorrect spelling, but the Silex was later edited to be correctly spelled as Silex. Duelist Magazine Card. The Duelist Magazine was an MTG magazine produced by Wizards of the Coast from 1993 to 1999. Some of these magazines included cards with them such as Nalathne Dragon and Scent of Cinder. 120.8. Rule 120.8 reads as follows. If a source would deal zero damage, it does not deal damage at all. That means abilities that trigger on damage being dealt won't trigger. It also means the replacement effects that would increase the damage dealt by that source or would have that source deal that damage to a different object or player have no event to replace, so they have no effect. Say I have a 1-1 one -one death touch that gets double blocked. Since I can only deal damage to one of the creatures, only one of them will die. Man of Impeccable Timing. Fire Fiend Elemental had Man of Impeccable Timing as its playtest. H-O-T-R. Heroes of the Forgotten Realms are cards released to the executives of Wizards of the Coast as tokens of appreciation. 1996 World Champion. 1996 World Champion is a card that was given to the winner of the World Championship in Seattle. It is the single rarest card in Magic and trading card history with a single printing. And its printing plates were destroyed. It's also sealed in plastic within the trophy. Tom Chan Fang won and was given the trophy. In 2001, Tom sold it to a private collector for $17,500. Cannabis on a magic card. You can see this on the art of Shaharazad. Now it's your turn. I thought of a few things that I would add and you get to figure out what they are. Leave a comment and I will tell you if you're correct or not. Proposal. Sixth color, not colorless. Shishifuka Jin Dragon. World's smallest deck. Cards with long Longest name. Cards with most text. Art tribal. Parentheses chair. Four color names. And where they came from. Nameless card. And token. Latin pick. Joke gatherer rulings. Thank you for listening and I will see you.